the last five devices I've worked on on stream have all been successful, which is not bad. And they haven't exactly been easy fixes, apart from one. I mean, the, the one HDMI port yesterday, that was an easy one, obviously. But other than that, they've been not so straightforward, and we've managed to fix all of them. So let's continue that streak. Talking of streaks, I don't know what that's got to do with it, but this belongs to a police officer. I guess because police officers are a streak of piss, but... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like the police. When they're not when they're not near me. <laughs> I like the police when they're not near me. Uh the police are best at a, at a distance. Um this belongs to a police officer, anyway. Enough joking around. Um So police officer got in touch, asked me to have a look at this. Um so I met met up with I say him, I met up with his wife, who's also a police officer, outside the police station yesterday while I was on the way to the mailbox to pick this up. I said there was a police officer, but I wasn't going to give him my address or anything like that. But now I've actually verified that they're a police officer, I don't mind giving them my personal address, whereas obviously a normal customer I wouldn't. So I can pick it up from here instead. Um, but they wanted to drop it off to me so I could try and get it working a bit quicker, and that was local, so... Yeah, let's see what's going on. So apparently it's a no power. It's never been worked on. Yeah, so one second blood. All right. One second blood. Cool. All right. Pop a rotten fish in it next to the exhaust fan. Oh, you're mean. <laughs> I don't mind the police, actually. I genuinely don't. I know there's a couple of police officers who actually watch me on um, Twitch. I mean, obviously, this guy found me through YouTube. Um, it doesn't make a difference if he's a police officer. Uh, I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, might make a good title. I fixed the police officer's PS5. <laughs> this video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor. But hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at the Code of Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can. Which is why we're proud to talk to you about ConsoleFix.shop. A great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that'll give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console Fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. Pop. We're in like Flint. So what I want to do then, is the same thing I always do on these, and that's going to be to try and find out what voltage rails are missing, if any. Let's have a look, she. Let's go into voltage mode then. And I'm going to connect one probe to ground. That'll do. And let's check some rails. What have we got? Do we have a 5 volt here? We do. Do we have a 3.3 .3 there? We do. A five here. Yep, one point eight. Yep, five two. Do we have a zero point eight volt when we turn it on? Yep, and a two point five as well. One point one. Yep. 1.35. Yeah. Uh, do we do, do, do 5 volts? No. No, we do not. We 
we get 0.12 volts and then it drops down. We're missing that 5 volt rail. This is probably going to be a signature failure. So we're missing that 5 volt rail. Without that, it's not going to turn on. We've got a dry spot on the APU, because we always do have. So the 5 volt rail that I'm looking for is just here. When you get some focus. Uh, so this rail here is meant to put out 5 volts on here. So we get 12 volts coming into here and 5 volts coming out. It's not usually this side that fails. It can be, but it's not normally this side that fails. Normally, it's going to be on the other side, on this cap. So, or rather this bank of caps. It's normally there where it fails. But we're missing that 5 volt rail. That's completely missing. So, what I want to do then is, first of all, just drain the capacitors. Because it's going to have some residual current in there. I'll just... Short those out with tweezers, and that'll allow me to drain any residual current by just basically pulling it down to ground. Even though this circuit, I think, is probably short anyway. So let's go into continuity mode then. Let's pop the ground probe on. Yep, we are dead short to ground. Beeper was off, but we are dead short to ground there. 0.2 amps. Uh, sorry, 0.2 uh, ohms, not amps. So this is ground here. This is the input, and that is short to ground. You can see this has took some heat as well on this MOSFET. It's starting to discolour. So obviously these caps here are connected through this inductor and then to these MOSFETs, or rather, well, the other way around, should I say. Um, so we've got the 12 volt here, it comes through here, goes through this uh, 3219, yeah, 3219. Um, but it also comes through these two FETs here, down through the inductor, into the caps, and... Uh, these FETs put out 5 volts. Well, I think they do. Uh, yeah, they do. Um, but yeah, that's dead short to ground. So, what I can do is do the doo doo. But what else I can do is just inject a volt and just find out exactly where the short is without having to sit there hunting. So let's inject one volt into there. We get a whopping 4.7 amps. That's going to be a capacitor that's short. 4.7 amps of current is a lot of current. Even at one volt. It's still 5 watts. These caps are not designed to handle 5 watts. You ready? Sizzle, 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 biatch. Cap number 4 has failed. So that's why that's getting dry really quickly. Is that a crack I see on that one as well? I think it might be. Easy money. I'm about to rob a police officer of £60. Easy money. Love these jobs. Absolutely love these jobs. There we go. Drop more OPI on there, let it cool down. That's what I like to call rapid cool technology. Inject again. And there we go. Absolutely no current drawn out at all. That is not short. Good stuff. That is the kind of job I like. Easy money.
Let me grab a donut board so I can get a cap. So here's the thing. Some people might say, you've only replaced the 10 pence capacitor. That's, that's too much for that. You shouldn't be charging 60 pounds for that. Well, you're not paying for the cap, are you, my friends? You are paying for my experience of knowing exactly where to look. So, I say to you, sir, Fuck off, four eyes. Anyway. One important thing you got to remember as well, it's still only 25% of what Sony would charge. Sony charge a flat fee of £240, and they will erase your personal data. Well, they won't erase it, They'll just scrap your board and put a new board in. That's what they'll do. And they'll charge you £240 to basically shaft you. So 25% of what Sony are going to charge to fix the fault and retain user data. It's not bad going. It saves them to buy a new console. There we go. Good. Give that a clean, get rid of that little bit of flux. Just inject one volt again and no short. Good. I'll verify that with the multimeter, but yeah. Okay, so Plug them probes into the meter. So that's ground, like I said. And that's not. And there we go. We no longer get a beep. Good stuff. Cool. Right. Need to clean the board. Uh, the um, housing. Right. Moment of truth. Is she going to turn on? Is she going to turn on? I've got the power button, mate. Yeah, no worries. Three, two, one. Ha! Let's get it. Let's go. Ta da, motherfucker. Right. Now I want to see a white light. Boom. Test it. Oh, well, I just need to... Well, I don't, need, I don't really need to use the HDMI tester. Make sure it's actually output in a display. And it is. Good. Yep, that's output in a display. Consolefix.shop. For all your HDMI tester needs. Um, yeah. That's picking up a display. I could put this back together. Get the heat sink on, get the disc drive in, and then I'll give it a proper a proper test, a more extended test. Yes, I know my batteries are low. Go away. I will charge them when I'm good and ready. Boom. There we go. That is working. And that's why it broke. Fucking FIFA. Why is it every single freaking console has got FIFA on it? God damn it! You stupid motherfuckers! Every broken console has FIFA installed on it. Half dead motherfucker! Come on! There we go. Right, that's connected. So that's working. Uh, it's on 8.2. So it's on the latest software. This only died a couple of days ago. 4K display. And it's installed in the game. Good. Yep, yeah, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy that it's working. Uh, and everything seems to be absolutely fine. I'll take that. That is another console fixed. By console fix.